hello soulmates you're welcome to another beautiful video tutorial so in this video we'll be learning how to make this beautiful a line net with a line sleeve okay so if this is like what you want to know how to make you can stick around let's get right into it now you can see how nice it is on my dummy this is the outcome of it on my dummy but i bet you it's better than this or ground so if this is like what you want to know how to make you can stick around let's get started now the tube gown underneath it are also i already have a video of it which i have uploaded before i'm uploading this one the link will be in the description box so let's get started so the, this particular pattern this particular style i'm new i'm working with my pattern okay so um if you've not seen my my video on how to draft a basic gown uh, pattern i'll drop the link in the description box for us to see so i'm using this now you can see that it's not long enough okay it's not long enough you can see that um this is my waist this is my chest line this is the hip and the under butt i didn't do any tightening on the under butt okay because he's a free something we're cutting is an a line the net you see on the dress is a line so this is how i make my a line there are different methods of getting your a line um, dress ready okay so i went ahead to take the dart even though it's not necessary but we're going to be taking it away so the next thing i want to do now is to attach to this basic gown now is to attach to this pattern so that it will be long enough for what i want right it will be long enough i need it to be 59 inches long so i'm just going to join this is about 36 inches okay so i'm just going to join to it i'll just join it off the camera and come back i'm just joining to the edge of the paper so right now i've gone ahead to i've gone ahead to add to it and it's so long right now because I made it 60 inches, so I added extra one inch to my full length. This is what we have, okay? So another thing I did, the dart line, the dart line now, here. Yeah. My dart is uh, 4 inches for my dart intake. That's my nipple to nipple measurement, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the 4 now, I extended it straight down. I will extend it to the chest line also. Because if you check very well, the upper part of the dress is fitted. Is not loose okay so it is from the boss point that it became loose it is from the boss point the fitness and the free the freeness of the gown started okay if there's any word like freeness so i extended it that straight to the hem of the of the pattern so what i will do now i'll be taking us outside so that we can use a bigger table so you can see what i'm doing very well so i'm just going to place my camera and show us the next thing to do I might just do a voiceover for that one because it's outside and there's going to be noise. So now that we've extended the dart, the next thing now is to slash. Now we'll be slashing the straight line straight to this point. Okay, then we can now uh, spread it. So before then, there is um, another thing I didn't add to it. We need um, a boss dart. We need a boss dart. So I'll be marking on my um i'll be checking for her boss point here is our under boss and here is a boss point so i'm just going to rule straight line so if you're making just normal basic gown you don't need the boss point and the under bust so here is the under bust here is the apex which is also known as the bust point or the nipple points they also call it the nipple point okay so now i'm just going to take the side that which is two inches okay so from the apex line come down by two inches to connect your bust that like this so after connecting it like this now we're done but you know that this place that we just connected we will be creasing it away like we'll be taking it out by the time we're done so it means i need to add extra two inches to the lower part i actually forgot i should have done that i should have done that earlier so i will just pause do that off camera add two inches of paper to the lower part of the pattern then we'll go 
and spread we'll go and slash and spread on the net okay i will already fold the net before we get there so here i am outside on my table i've already folded my net but i folded it into four okay i'm using a soft tool net in this video it's actually a bail net that i saw so um i folded it into four like i said before because we're going to be cutting the front and back at the same time so what you have to do just slit the dart line from the lower part of the dress now slit it to the chest line okay so i'm taking it straight to the chest line so that the flay will start from the chest line itself okay so you can see what i did so after slitting it open now you will now be able to close the bust dart that we added to the side so you can see what breeze is doing to my work here so um I'm sorry about that. So I'll just go ahead and pin it down. If I should do this on my table inside, I don't think you guys will understand it very well. That's why I brought it outside. So I'm just going to pin it down so that the breeze does not disturb it. And I'll just hold it down with other things also. So you can see how I'm pinning it. Now, like I said before, I'm using both the uh, I'm cutting both the front and the back pattern together. So on the dress, on the dress pattern, like I explained earlier, the neckline for the front and the back is there. And I've only cut the neckline for the back and the shoulder slant for the back away. The one for the front, the shoulder slant for the front and the one for the back is still there. Okay? Like I said earlier. So you can see me slitting the side that, the bust that open so that I can crease it away. So you take it up and you crease it. So now, after creasing it now, you will go ahead to spread the material, okay? You go ahead to spread, just ignore the breeze, please. So you will go ahead to spread the material according to how big you go ahead to spread the paper on the net according to how big your fabric is and also according to how big you want the a line to be but one thing i will tell you is that you shouldn't spread it too much if you spread it too much it's not going to be fine honestly because if the ankara is now too much underneath it it's just going to be folding do you understand so i will advise you don't spread it too much okay but spread it very well so that it will come out nicely like the space i have in between on the lower part is no more than 12 inches for the spread okay so you can see me holding it down so i will just go ahead after spreading it to my satisfaction now i will just go ahead and trim it i will just cut it according to the spread i have made so after so after cutting it now the next thing we'll be doing now is to measure out the part we want for the Ankara and cut on the Ankara. So here I am. I'm trying to connect the lower part of it. Okay, you know we've not cut the lower part. Yeah, and you know that it's not going to be straight because we've already spread it to create a curve. Okay, so I'll just trim the excesses out. Then now I will determine the part I want to use for the Ankara. So please, I cut on my paper and also on the tool net. If you don't want to waste your net like that, it means after spreading your paper, place another paper in between it, okay? So that you can only cut this part only on your paper. Do you understand? So I'm marking 12 inches upward from the lower part of the tool net. That, that means the Ankara fabric that is going to be beneath this gown is going to be 12 inches wide, okay? So I will just connect it. After connecting it, I'll go ahead and cut. Like I said earlier, you can decide not to cut on your net, okay, if you're managing your net. But I feel this one was faster than going ahead to tape another paper to the main paper pattern just because I don't want to waste the net. That's what I thought. But if you don't want to waste your net, place another paper in between. Measure the length you want for the paper for the this thing and cut it out. So this part of the net I have cut now. That's what I will now carry to go and cut on my Ankara that will be beneath the net okay so after cutting the lower part away this is what we have okay so now <clears throat> i'll i'll go ahead and separate both the front and the back from each other so you can see me removing the pins. see the neckline for the front and the shoulder slant you know it's not done so i've gone ahead to separate the net and this is only the front pattern here so i'll just go ahead and cut the front neck line that's it 
then I will also cut the shoulder slant. Now, don't forget that I have also already removed the back pattern from the front pattern before I am doing this part. Then also the armhole area, I'm just going to trim it accordingly also. So after doing that now, <clears throat> I will go ahead now and bring the back pattern to the table so that we can uh, slit the back open because the back is going to carry uh button okay so now you can see i came down by six inches okay from the neckline i came down by six inches it means the slit i'm creating is going to end at the six inches because you know the upper part of this gown is fitted if you do not create any opening at the back your clients will not be able to wear it if you're making it for yourself you won't be able to wear it so i made a very long bias that we used to turn the back. So ignore my MP on the table is what I'm using to hold down the fabric because of the breeze outside, okay? So I have my sleeve pattern already done. If you don't know how to draft a perfect sleeve, I'll also drop the link in the description box, okay? So at the lower part of the sleeve, I extended it with about seven inches. Then I connected it to the edge, okay? If you want your sleeve bigger than this also, you have to have more to net and you extend it but you still see that i still have more but i don't want it to be because i feel it will not be fine okay and uh i went ahead to cut don't forget i extended with seven inches at the lower part of the sleeve okay so that's how to get this triangle or how do they call it sleeve so now i will just go ahead and trim it off and we're done but you know that the sleeve is also carrying an ankara below it also. So I will just determine how wide I want the ankara to be. And I went up by 6 inches, okay? So after coming up by 6 inches, I connected a straight line. Same way we did for the front pattern. So after connecting, I went ahead to cut. Like I said earlier, you can decide not to cut on your paper, okay? Like for this, my owner, I'm also, I'm always using this leaf pattern for my work. So I'm going to tape it back. So this is what we have. I've gone ahead to cut the Ankara. Okay. Just to stop with, just to not waste our time. I did that off camera. I just placed the net on my Ankara and I cut. And this is what we have the Ankara for the main gown. This is it. And that's the gun pattern on the upper part. So I'm just showing us what we've done, okay? So this is the Ankara and you, you just saw me removing the net from the Ankara. It is the net I used to cut the Ankara. That is the net that we removed from the lower part. You can see me bringing it back so that you don't get confused, okay? So also for the sleeve, I've also gone ahead to cut the net, the Ankara for the sleeve pattern, okay? So... This is the sleeve pattern Ankara that I've got. And you know, it's not so that big. So this is it. And this is the net that I used in cutting it, which is the net we cut out from the sleeve earlier also. So why I'm showing us this part now is so we don't get confused. So you still know that this is what we are doing, okay? So here is it. If you turn it to the right side, you will see, can you see what we've done? So I've just gone ahead to cut both the Ankara for the main dress and the one for the sleeve so we'll be going inside now so here is the back pattern on my table so what we are going to do now is to pipe it with the long net we've already cut now this net i'm using here is about 1.5 inches wide okay so the the length i really do not know because i'm going to be trimming it out i just cut what will be enough so you place the net on it just make a straight stitch that will end at where the slit is ending at okay so i need this looping they call it looping rope i have it i want to use it that's what will be for the button hole okay so what i will do now i only cut one of it out because i need one button there then you place it this way okay so when you place it now this is not actually how to place it though you are just going to place it on the other side you can see you will place it on the other side you turn it to the other side so that when you sew it and turn your your net to the other side it's just going to come out okay so now after placing it you can see how i placed it go and sew a straight stitch so after sewing a straight stitch just turn 
your net. You know how you use your bias to pipe your neckline or you're using it to pipe whatsoever you're piping, okay? The same thing we are doing here. So I've gone ahead to make a straight stitch. So the next thing now is to turn it to the to the right side okay so now for this net i don't know where is the right side and where is the wrong side i'm just going to use any part so now you turn it you fling the the net from the other side now you fling it down to this other side then you fold it into two fold it first like this and fold it again can you see what we've done and you can see the loopy row popping out where it is going to hold the button. Go ahead and sew it down. Turn it like that and sew it down. After sewing it down, this is what you have. So you bring another net. See the way I'm placing it. Place it that way and sew a straight stitch down to that place also. So after sewing a straight stitch, this is what we have. So the next thing you're going to do now, you are going to be turning also. The same way we turn the other side you get you will be turning it okay two times fold it twice and turn so now after turning it i'm just pinning it down for us so that we understand what i want to do here okay because we are going to be using this particular um part now to cover the edges of the other one that we cut earlier so you're just going to be folding it down there like that you just keep folding it okay but <coughs> You will make sure that it is also coming to the other edge. So now it was difficult for me to bring it all out. So I have to notch. You just make a very little notch so you don't cut your thread, okay? So I'll just go ahead and notch it. And after notching it, I'll go ahead and flip it over from the wrong side to the right side. Do you see what I've done? Then I will continue folding it as you're folding use your pin to pin it down appropriately so that it doesn't move so that it will be easy for you to work on okay so now after pinning it the next thing you do now you also trim it also so that you can use this other strap now we want to sew down you'll be mashing it on the other side when I get there, you will also see it. If you are still watching this video to this extent, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and share. Please tell me what you think about my videos so I can serve you better. Okay, if you have any requests, you can make also in the comment section, okay? So you can see what I'm doing, right? Go ahead and trim it. After trimming it, leave about one inch, okay? So you fold it appropriately. After folding it that way, turn it okay you just you you will bend it in okay so it was too long that way you will bend it in okay you see how i'm folding it in so that the edges will not be rough can you see what i did i folded it in laying it on this other one that will first of all sewn so that i can cover the edges can you see what we have here i'm just re-showing what i've done fold it in okay just fold you can see what i'm doing fold it in and place it on top this other side so that the edges will not be rough the edges will be very neat and pin it down so i'll go to my machine and sew it down okay so i'll just go there make a straight stitch straight down to that point and i'll also tighten this so that the center of it that is covering the other part and after sewing it this is what we have the next thing we'll be doing now Join the front and back together. So we'll be starting with the shoulders. After joining the shoulders, we will also join the sides. Then we will now move to the next step of the video. So after joining the sides, this is what we have. The next thing we'll be doing now is to pipe the neck with a bias, okay? The same way we piped the shoulder part. We'll be piping the neck with a bias. So first of all, when you want to start, fold, fold the net, the long net you want to use. Fold the edges before you pin it to the center back. Okay? Then just sew it round and turn it again. Say we did to the back. So after that, this is what we have after piping the nets. You see how neatly done it is? So this is the lower part. Now the lower part, now we have to add the Ankara to it. Now because I sew this, the side straight down, I have to loosen the side so that I can attach the Ankara. You know the Ankara is also into two. So first of all, I, when you're placing your Ankara, make sure that the right side of the Ankara is facing the right side of the net, okay? So you just go ahead and place your Ankara 
and you know from the beginning i marked the wrong side of the ankara with chalk so it was easy for me to to identify so i'll just go ahead and join it back straight down after adding the ankara to the net so after joining it back the next thing i wanted to just fold it but i felt like no i wanted to weave it before so i can only fold it once because it's difficult to fold because of the curve okay so that's why i didn't fold it again this is what we have the next thing we'll be doing now is to go ahead and fix the sleeve so the same way we attach the ankara to the lower part of the gun we'll be attaching the ankara to the lower part of the sleeve right side facing right side so i will just go ahead and run a straight stitch then do the same thing for the other sleeve also and after that this is what we have okay so the next thing now is to attach the sleeve to the main dress so to attach your sleeve fold the sleeve into two notch the mid part of the sleeve okay so that you can go ahead and fix it on the shoulder part of the gun where you joined okay so after notching the mid part you can see what i'm doing i'm notching the mid part of the both sleeve so i'll go ahead and bring the the major gown itself then spread it open go ahead and attach the sleeve and after attaching the sleeve we are done with the gown and this is what the final outcome so this is what the final result looks like so when you try it out don't forget to tag me okay send me pictures on whatsapp okay so now thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video i really appreciate your support and i won't be here without all of you thank you so much and i would love to see you in my next video drop your comment tell me what you think about this video how to improve in my next video bye